Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode, and today we're doing something different. I've never fished for smelt. Avery has, but we're doing like this smelt tournament derby kind of thing, and there's prizes for like biggest smelt, biggest herring, and other fish caught, and like other treasure caught from the bottom. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing, and we're going to be fishing on this dock behind me first. We're going to try that out. It goes down that way for a little ways, and just see what we can get. And, oh look, there's a seal right here. I don't know if you guys can see him. He's literally 10 feet away from me. That's pretty cool. Anyways guys, I'm gonna get my smelt rig set up and then we're gonna see if we can catch some smelt and herring. See you guys. Avery already caught a tiny one. But then Avery's brother, while Avery was on the phone, cut to the drum. Thanks. <laughs> Got one, Avery. Guys, please. There's my first one. Not too bad of a size. Okay. Alright, so you just got two. You just got two of them on. Oh. My drag is really tight. That one bottom was not too bad. <laughs> hey, Daddy, you just got two. With a handful of chum. Yeah. Man, look at that. All right, gotta get the stoke B roll. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> You're gonna put that in? Oh, yeah. Not you with know, you. Mexi <laughs> pink. Oh, yeah. Look at him flop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be a good okay. one. <laughs> Catching that. See, I don't think I'm gonna put you where Yeah, like he just said, I just got my second and third herring right there. Going for herring and smelt. Just with a normal smelt setup. And the kid that was just recording that is Nathan. Yeah, teal some reels. Don't forget to um, subscribe and dislike. <laughs> I post um, blurry videos of um, ducks, and they're usually covered in water. All right, guys. So if you don't know how to fish for smelt or herring, we just using these little hooks with like a little tail on them. I guess you could call it. And there's like five, well, five or six hooks on them. And the challenge we're doing today, you can probably tell by the title of the video and the thumbnail, is whoever catches the biggest fish does not have to eat the head off of a herring or smelt. So I think you're in the lead right now. Probably, I don't know. You're, I mean, you, so I'm gonna have to do it. You got some big ones in here. Yeah, you we, don't, the we don't know yet until it's done. But so yeah, the loser has to eat the head off of a fish, and you're gonna lose. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I right. actually kind of want to eat the head off. <laughs> you're kind of cool. All right, see you guys in a little bit. So this is my big one of the day, and that's Avery's. We're gonna go take him to the weigh-in and see how much. See. If I'm in first or not. What you do, you jerk your pole and. Alright, try to snag one. Try to snag one. Yep. Okay. You want to fill out your names? He's at the nine. It does look like it compared to the other. Oh, you're got to the nine. You're a half inch above. Yes. <laughs> okay, so whoever had the nine inch. And that's for whom? Ethan. Okay. Yeah, the same as this one. This is his smallest. Yankel J A K. Oh, we didn't put the length of it on there. Which one? <laughs> his little guy. You're winning the smallest I one. That one. <laughs> I didn't measure it. Oh. <laughs> First just place. Little. You just stapled it. It's me. You got the tape.
Avery with another smoke. That's how it's done, boys. <laughs> Alright? I bet. You better be taking notes. Alright guys, so I haven't caught anything here at this new spot yet. Avery's caught two, I think, and his brother caught one or two. I can't remember. But there's a ton of people here and they're all catching it around us. So I'm just getting some cool footage of all the water and all the fish and stuff. So cue the music. Nasty. Yep, like I said guys, I'm one of the bigger fish nine inches. I think we're gonna end it here. I'm not sure yet. But we're gonna pick end the bed right here and he's gonna pick a fish he has to eat. Not eating it, I'm biting that. Or biting it, yeah. I feel bad because these guys are still alive. <laughs> I'm not gonna okay. Alright, here we go. Do they look good? Yeah. Well, so I just have to bite the head off and spit it out. That's all I have to do. Yeah, but you gotta show the camera to your mouth. It's gonna be nasty, okay. Ready? Yep. Three. Two, one. <laughs> Crunchy. Ah. There's blood all in your mouth. Show the fish, show the fish. He did bite it. <laughs> I don't know if should I keep this or throw it back. Throw it back. We're keeping it. Okay, we're keeping it. There you uh, go. That was not. Alright, so Avery just did his part of the bet, he bit the head off the fish. Um, we're not necessarily gonna end the fishing, but it's kind of been dead around here, no one's been catching anything. It usually heats up when there's a school that swims by, and you'll know when there's a school that comes by because everyone will start pulling them out of the water like crazy. But there's more to this video. I'll pick the camera up if there's an update. But I think we're gonna go to the weigh-in soon and see if I'm still in first or not. See if I get the money. All right, thanks guys. Fundraiser for the sponsorship really helped cover the cost of all the activities that were provided today, and especially to the Children's Museum. Uh, they came and set up the whole carnival for us, so we thank them very, very much. Nice job, Ethan.